Hi everyone, Nice and Any Face Tano here, here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And I hope you're doing well. It's time for a review of the new Earth Gang album, Mirror Land. Buzzing Atlanta hip-hop duo Earth Gang, they are here with a new record for J. Cole's Dreamville Records. Featuring Dr. Dot and Johnny Venus, I first heard of these guys when they were coming out with a run of EPs in 2017 and 2018. Rags, Robots, and royalty. And while there were some eccentric vibes on these records, there was nothing on them going quite far enough, in my view, to leave a great impression on me. Early on, Earth Gang weren't really living up to the weirdo reputation that they seemed to gain so easily. I mean, don't get me wrong, Dot and Venus definitely stand out in the current rap landscape with their consistently nasal, animated, and expressive deliveries and rap flows. They're also not shy about breaking into, with no warning whatsoever, these kind of cartoony and somewhat zany vocal passages too. So I get that these guys are respectively versatile, but still, looking at previous tracks like Red Light and Artificial and Cocktail, while these songs are good, they're not necessarily out there, not really as left field as some of their other contemporaries in the psychedelic, experimental, or industrial hip-hop fray. I wouldn't even say I've heard anything as bold or as imaginative as to warrant the plethora of outcast comparisons I've seen to these guys on the internet. And even though it would be nice to have another outcast or another duo out there as great as outcast, Listening to Earth Gang's music, I'm not even sure if that's the sound that they're really shooting for. Meanwhile, Big Crit drops banger after banger after banger, directly citing the Outkast playbook and crickets, but that's a that's a sidebar. I guess the point is, I think the influences going into this new Earth Gang record are more contemporary than they are classic. For one, the loose bits of jazzy bass and keys and percussion all over the opening track are pretty much just like a Flying Lotus instrumental. Meanwhile, the insane vocal work the duo throws on top of this is, I guess, a little reminiscent of some of the cartoonish stuff CeeLo used to do on his solo work back in the day. I guess there's a classic Atlanta music heavyweight comparison for you. But honestly, I don't think Earth Gang are doing anything outside of the creative scope of an Underachievers, or a Flatbush Zombies, or a Kendrick Lamar, or a Danny Brown, or a Jid, or even a Chance the Rapper. Hell, Young Thug fits really snugly into the duo's already established style on the track Proud of You. I would say it's actually a pretty incredible team up. Even the track Bank is a pretty standard low key trap banger by contemporary standards. Sure, there's some kind of weird samples or keys laced into the track, but uh, the flows and the delivery on this thing aren't too far outside of what you might hear on a, uh, a DaBaby track. I mean, the song is good, and many other tracks on this album are, but I think overselling the oddity of Earth Gang is doing more to hurt them than help them. I do think where Earth Gang does take it a step further than a lot of their contemporaries is with the somewhat freaky singing and vocal work all over this record, especially on this new album where the singing and the instrumental switch-ups are so much better than they were on their previous EPs. I think if Earth Gang should be celebrated for or defined by anything, it's that, as well as the knack they show occasionally for some really hooky songwriting too. The songs Up, Top Down, Proud of You, all attached to these incredible choruses. One time, seared into your mind some of the best rap singles of this year. But the group's shortcomings grow more apparent as they tone the intensity down and deliver tracks like This Side, Swivel, Avenue. Not only total snoozers, but when the vocals and the rapping are delivered at a more mild pace, and there's inherently more of a focus on the lyricism as a result of that, I would expect the lyrics to be a bit better, more substantive, focused, thoughtful, but they just aren't. I think a lot of the ideas, themes, and opinions Earth Gang express in their music are pretty basic, frankly. And there's not a whole lot in terms of like pen game or wordplay or double entendres. I mean, occasionally it's there, but it's 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 not anything, um, I guess, uh, eye-widening or surprising. And while I do appreciate that lyrically Earth Gang do seem to be on 
the woke spectrum with references to Sandra Bland and racism. They don't really dive into these topics all that deeply. A lot of the time we're getting these verses from the duo that on the surface might sound really strange, whether you're talking about torpedoes and tornadoes and placebos and blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's all cool. It's a little bit like left field hip hop ear candy, but I wish it was just more than that. I think the track Tequila is yet another song on the back end of this record that is pretty decent. I think the sexy horn samples on this track are great. Tunefully, it's one of the better tracks here. But after this, there are more underwhelming songs to come. The track Trippin' featuring Kalani, her verse leaves a lot to be desired, even with the beat switch up that occurs just before it. And even if she did pop onto the song and killed it, it still wouldn't make up for the very boring, somewhat flirty verses that come before it. Meanwhile, the song Stuck is the least likable track on the entire record with its incredibly messy singing that seems way more interested in sounding weird than sounding on pitch. Fields, it's one of the most underwhelming cuts on the entire record. It's kind of a bland hip-hop neo-soul blend that ends in a uh, very... I guess, anticlimactic fashion. But then after this, we get the song Wings. Now, Fields felt like a pretty appropriate low-key closer, and we get quite a bit of dead air after the song, and then we get this Wings cut, which may maybe is a bonus track or something. I'm not entirely sure. What does seem clear is that it's kind of tacked onto the finish of the record, and as far as mixing and mastering goes, it sounds a lot muddier and messier than any other song on this project. It just feels like a shoddier version of much of what occurred prior to this point, and that's all. I'm not really sure if I have much else to say about this record. I think there are some really great tracks on here, yes, and I think that Earth Gang are close to honing in on a very unique, soulful, uh, very oddball rap style. But I wish the lyricism was better. I wish the distinctions stylistically between uh, Venus and Dot were greater. I wish the songwriting were more memorable across the entire record. And look, and that's not to say the vast majority of tracks on this album are trash or garbage or anything like that. Not the case. There was really only one song I truly disliked. Meanwhile, the rest of them I thought were either great or just kind of tolerable or pleasant or decent, but still wanting a bit more out of them. Mostly in terms of concept or lyrical depth, because that's the thing. On the surface, it sounds like this record really works in layers and it's going to present all of these uh, ideas and sounds to you that you're really going to be able to peel back over and over and over, but no, in fact, Mirrorland is uh, actually quite obvious. I wish there was more to it. Feeling a light to decent six on this one. Tran. Zition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Earth Gang, Mirrorland, Forever.